make it through it. Please don't make me go in there. Okay, so the house is right there. And the house is right down the road. Is it sad that I actually want to walk into the circus because it looks interesting? The house is right there. I mean, we could just bypass. Without so much as a glance at the circus, the girl rushed off towards the house. The little house all aglow, there it was. And there's the big guy. Gotta chase us into the circus. Mm -hmm. The unknown did not notice the two of them. He was too busy trying to smash down the door. But it could not get in the house. Thank God for that. The unbelieving boy. I'm an unbelieving boy now. Alright, let's lift you up then, I guess. This has worked out so well for me in the past. Yep, yep, there's the fucking noise that triggers the monster. Thank you. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. You fucking asshole. I'm invisible, thank god. The girl drew the creature's attention beyond the bars. Not that it matters. Oh wow, he is chasing her. Shit. It is time to get into this fucking circus. Into the circus they went. Disappeared into the tent. Well, I'm across the living carrier right all while I know I'm going to follow closely behind. She's on the trapeze rope? She jumped off. Thank she's God. walking around, but she's in the center ring and there's no way out, but there's no way in for the monster, which seems stupid considering you could probably just climb over. Why is he that stopped by this? this that doesn't make any sense. Desperately, the boy searched for the way to reach the girl. There is a ladder. I go over here and push this freaking cart. Invisibly. Don't play music, girl. Oh, she is. Neat. This is the cart that I pushed. That's cool. That music sucks. Why do we gotta be in a fucking circus? Circuses are so much fun when they're not being used. The girl is waiting for him at the bottom of the ladder. There you go. Get the hell up here. Oh god, he's climbing over. You're still muddy. Oh, he's in. Wait. Damn, brah. <clears throat> and now I can hit the trap. Because I already know, yeah. Dude, it's like the most trap game. Large cage hung over the circus ring. Just picture the Rue Goldberg fucking trap shit that just goes off. Oh, we need both of us to hit the switch, don't we?
use it. Yeah. I'll try it. She was quick that time, holy crap. I didn't even see her. Good job, girl. Oh no. Of course. So let me guess, now I have to go down there and drop the fucking doll that's right there. All right? Wait. Okay, she tossed it down. The girl tried brave, bravely to draw the attention of the unknown. You dropped a doll. Not really that brave. Yeah, I know. I gotta get the doll. Thank you, game. Oh, God. No, I'll go down that way. I'm going this way. Down this freaking ladder. Down this freaking ladder. Is it gonna turn around or it just stays there? Yeah, it just seems to stay there. that this guy stands for. Oh god. <laughs> oh crap. Yeah. Throw the switch. Yes. Dun -dun 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 mouse trap. At least the two of them had trapped the unknown. They had become known. This is known, Kylie. Intense fighting action combat. Throw some fucking melee weapons in there. The unknown's cries disappearing into the darkness and return to the house. <laughs> Fuck you, unknown. Do we really just trying as hard as we can to break into this house, but not a sound came from within the little lit up house. Nobody answered her call. <gasps> even though she didn't she can't speak. Looking as if she might burst into tears at any moment, the girl continued to knock. Nick knock a day knock nick knock knock nick knock knock. In reality both of you are dead. Passed away in your sleep and walked out into the rain. Now you're both wandering the world. Yep. Look, you can get in through your open window. Yeah, see? There's a balcony up there. It's so obvious. That thing that we tried to do before everything went to shit. Yeah. You dumb bitch. There we go. Come on, get in there, go, go. 
fucking go. No. Jeez. I do not need your help. I would have gotten up here on my own. I would have figured it out. Jeez. Really? I don't know. She stood still on the balcony. Before them was a little room. Not big. Not small. Just little. <gasps> it's the girl! Told you she's dead. She's dead. Is she dead? You're dead too. It was the girl herself. No. No, she's invisible now. She seemed to be suffering as she lay there. You are so dead. Not dead. Her body was shaking gently. Her body shook gently. I'm adding emphasis. And as t it did so, the invisible girl gradually became back came back at you. She noticed that she was becoming visible again. But just as her form was about to be fully restored, she stopped trying to wake herself. She turned and stared searchingly at the boy. Is she? She's not. Whoa! The darkness flooded in. This is called the darkness now? The one place left in that world. Jeez. Well, fuck me. Wow. They destroyed the shit out of this place in seconds. Great. All the lights gone. Fucking awesome. Ruined everything. Boy was alone once more. No more light, no more nothing. This sucks. The boy returned to the town. And the night. That castle seems out of place. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. This is definitely different. I think that's a good place to end off. Chapter 6, The Night Circus, Finn. You think that was cool? Lock it down. <laughs>